Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Welcome to a new episode of Game Shred. Map Nuketown, of course, everyone's favorite map. I don't really know how to play in it because it's shit. It's too, it's too clustered. However, we're gonna play a map with Dominate. We're gonna see how we're gonna do. By the way, guys, I got a new talk. I'm gonna take a new take on doing videos from now on. On some of my videos, where I'm gonna talk about random shit. This idea is kind of inspired by Beastie. If you guys don't know him, please do check him out. He deserves the recognition. Really am sucking, huh? You guys love eggs? Do you guys enjoy eating eggs? Do you guys see eggs as a type of resource that you eat to gain energy and to grow up? What the fuck? Well, let me tell you guys a story about my my relationship with eggs. Number one, I don't like to eat eggs. Number two, I see eggs as a type of weapon rather than a type of food. Might not be the same case with a lot of people, however it is like that with me. Because, I don't know, it's just it, it has a white shell and dude, just letters everywhere and it stinks. Uh, even when you eat it, it smells bad, you know, and all that good stuff. Ah, you know, X. It all started at one day, 2006, I believe. I was in a UC math class, if you guys don't know that. You guys shouldn't. It is, it is the stupidest class I've ever been in. And I kind of had a love-hate relationship with my teacher. However, that love-hate relationship all changed that day. I really started hating her. Now, just a heads up, guys. This teacher lives literally one minute away from my house. I know where she lives. I know... I, I know everything about her. Not everything, but I know where she lives and all that. One day I was chilling in class, you know, being all the nice student, good, cool student, cute student, because uh, I'm cute. Being a cute student that I was, and I decided to get up, you know, midway through the class and, uh, get up midway through the class and sharpen my pencil. So I decided to get up and sharpen it. I went out, walked across the room, you know, everything's cool. Said, what's up to some few friends, you know, spanked a new guy. <laughs> I'm kidding, I didn't spank a new guy. I don't like spanking new guys. I like spanking old guys. Anyways, I did that, you know, when all of a sudden she just freaking kicked me out of my own classroom. Why'd she kick me out? Because she said I was disturbing the peace in the classroom. I wasn't doing that. I was just sharpening my pen. I was being a nice student. I was just doing my duty as a student so I could continue working. I got really pissed. She kicked me out. I had nowhere to go. And by the way, my school is really tough. They kick you out. You're like, oh my god. They're yeah, you're gonna take you to the principal office. The principal is gonna fuck you up. They're gonna call your parents and you're gonna be grounded for a long time. So that happened. I got really pissed. What did I choose to do? I went home. I gathered you know, a bunch of few friends, you know, Gather, gathered my posse. What used to be my posse back then, you know? It was literally like me and another guy, we just gathered everyone, went out, grabbed a few eggs. No, 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 we didn't just grab a few eggs, this is what we did. I gave each of my friends two eggs, got two eggs for myself, and I literally took, oh shit. Oh, freaking hell. So I took a few eggs, broke them into a bottle, put a little bit of tomato paste, a little bit of soap, a little bit of seasonings here and there, you know, just to give it that extra spicy smell, and we, we annihilated her house, oh my god. We just went through, we went to her house and just freaking bombed her with eggs. We egged her house so bad that up to today, you can still, we bombed it it's so, we, we raped her house. I mean, up to today, it's been like how many years? It's 2006, it's 2015. If you go to her house right now, look at the roof, look at where the walls are. So high up, you're gonna see egg uh, stains, you're gonna see egg stains, you're gonna see tomato stains. And that is, guys, where I started my love with eggs. I don't know how you guys play good at it. I really can't play sh for shit in this ma- Oh! Oh no, oh snap. You know, and that is where I kind of started loving playing with eggs. And it didn't end there. Oh no, it didn't. I continued my egg adventures, believe it or not, till like three years ago. I'm pretty sure if I get my hands on some eggs right now and I have someone I have, I'm pretty much gonna egg him or his house. It was two or three years ago, I was over at my friend's compound. We usually like go there, we skate, we have a little bit of barbecue, and then we, we swim. There's a pool. That day, you know, we're, we had eggs. We were barbecuing. We needed eggs for a little bit of recipes and shit. We had a few eggs that were extra. What did we choose to do? We decided who can throw the eggs far off the furthest and hit the house at the far distance. So it was me and two other guys, I believe. We took the eggs and each had two eggs, I think. Yeah, two eggs. That, that seems about right. It's freaking... You know, I went first. Did you hit the house? And then my other friends threw the eggs and, you know, five minutes later, we're just chilling five minutes later, an angry, angry, angry dad just comes in, slams the pool door open, and starts cussing so bad. Who the fuck threw an egg on my kid? They had my kid on the fucking face. Believe it or not, guys, the egg freaking hit the kid in the face. His kid. I'm not sure how old he was, because he was too pissed. Maybe he was an infant. That was one of the best days of my life, because uh, we hit a kid in the face with an egg. I'm sorry for that, kid, but that was hilarious. That is a one in a million chance. 
When are you gonna throw a random egg and it's gonna hit someone in the face? We there was a wall blocking us. We didn't know it was gonna hit his kid. But that was so funny. I believe. I swear to God, I, uh, that was one of my favorite days. It was so funny. Believe it or not, guys. The dad was so pissed and he started searching for eggs throughout the entire place. We were playing um, Luffy Bunny at that time. We had a lot of... Oh shit, freaking camper. We had a lot of marshmallows stuffed in my mouth and the freaking douchebag of a father thought that these were eggs. He thought that we were hiding raw eggs in our mouth. What an idiot, right? So he started shouting at us, trying to like strip search us, but not strip search us because the eggs were in my mouth. He was trying to strip search our mouth with eggs and then when he found out that they were all... Uh, marshmallows, we told him that we didn't throw the eggs and he was like, Bro, you guys better not do that one more time, I'm gonna call the cops on you guys. And blah blah blah, we totally ignored him. We laughed our asses off after that and we enjoyed our awesome barbecue. <laughs> oh shit. Anyways guys, that is it for tonight's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this little storytelling of my obsession with eggs. By the way, I have a lot of stories with eggs. I just don't know where to start, don't know where to end. I used to like, throw eggs at random houses. Oh, Halloween, oh my god, Halloween. We used to egg random houses. Even if they had gave us candy or didn't give it, I was I was a dick when I was a kid. I don't really I don't really egg houses right now. I'm old. I have a beard. I don't really egg houses no more. I'm not that much of an asshole anymore. But that's that, guys. I just wanted to share this story with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. We sucked balls. I suck. Oh my god, my score sucked. Thank you guys for watching. And peace. Battery. Is she thinking or no? Sarah. Keep on doing this. No one's it. I have a bubble head.